Next, meet the mom of four who will help you organize your home to maximum effect. The Shally Sani shares how to start tidying up like a pro using dollar store funds. That's up next. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're living large today, but we're also living on a budget. Love that. I have to say, an organized home looks like a million bucks. We know that. And as this professional organizer will tell you, it's all about editing and decluttering. Music to my ears. Hi, Marilyn. I'm Vishali Sani, and I'm a mom of four, elementary school teacher, and an organizer. Over the years, I've learned to become a pro at living in small spaces because I've done so since I was in university, when I got married, and even after having four kids, we've still continued to live smaller than average. I've always been a super organized person. However, I didn't really start to actually teach others how to organize until 2019. My husband Kieran and I have always loved living in the city and we both owned condos downtown when we first met and continued to live downtown when we got married. But in 2013 we decided that we wanted to have our first child and we knew that we'd have to start looking for a larger living space. By the time our firstborn Isha turned 10 months we realized that this one bedroom unit that we were living in wouldn't work anymore and we needed a second bedroom for her. So we decided to move out and rent a downtown condo that was 850 square feet. This was more than enough space for one child but I then got pregnant with my second child and we thought we'd have to move again um, I was great at organizing but one thing I didn't realize that I was doing wrong was that I was trying to organize too much stuff so when I finally understood that concept I was able to make our small space work for our family of four and then uh, in 2018 when we had our third child um, we still didn't have to move I just simply decluttered and reorganized our condo so that it would work for our family of five. Then in 2019 we decided to buy another house in Toronto with the intention of eventually converting it into a triplex. Uh, we started to work on the permit process and renovations but then the COVID-19 pandemic hit and that really derailed our plans. Uh, we were now a family of five trying to manage working from home and raising three young energetic children in our 850 square foot condo. On top of it all I then found out that I was pregnant with my fourth child so we knew we definitely have to move we just didn't know where so ultimately uh, we decided that the best option would be to renovate the investment property and make it our family home for the time being it is on the smaller side by North American standards especially considering the size of our family but by decluttering and properly organizing the space we're actually quite comfortable here and feel like there's more than enough space for us. I started Tiny and Tidy in 2019. It was just an Instagram account where I share organization tips and tricks. But when I started to see that people had tons of questions about organization, productivity, and time management, I decided to create a membership where I basically teach everything I've learned over the years on how to create an organized home that runs efficiently. But when I have time, I also like to share content about motherhood, organization, and minimalism on my YouTube channel and on my blog. I think one of my favorite organization projects is probably my spice drawer. Uh, this drawer brings me so much joy every time I open it. It also makes it so much easier and faster to cook because I can quickly find the spices that I need. I want people to embrace a minimalist lifestyle because by simplifying you'll end up with so much more time, energy and money. Uh, we don't realize it but all of the stuff that we're constantly accumulating isn't going to improve our lives. By decluttering and organizing we'll ultimately end up with more time to spend spend on things that matter to us. Okay, okay. Well, okay, you just blow my mind, Vishali Sani. Welcome to the show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a Thanks journey. Thanks so for having me, Marilyn. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> What a journey. So you had to lose, like as my husband would say, you had to learn how to pack up and deploy and make it all work for everybody, huh? Exactly. But we figured it out and uh, yeah, all, everything yeah. is good now. <laughs> you know, we're going to have yeah. to have you back on the show because I want to talk to you about it. We've been talking about it on the on Chum 104.5 here in Toronto on the radio show about kids and, uh, uh, you know, 
toys and things like that. That will have to come another time because parents are really torn about yeah. that. You've got four, so you know how to do it properly. Mm -hmm. But we're going to tackle cutlery <laughs> drawers, getting this disorganized right. place into a, you know, a better organized space. And the dollar store has great solutions. So let's go through your tips. The first tip is to declutter. <laughs> so agree. But I don't know what to get rid of. So tell us about that. All right, so the cutlery drawer can quickly get cluttered and disorganized um, because we often accumulate yeah. a ton of cooking tools and cooking utensils that we don't even need. So what you need to do for step one is just to take everything out and completely empty the drawer. You don't want to organize while you still have items in the drawer. And you'll need to ask yourself if the items are worth keeping. How often do you use them? Do you have multiples? Do you need multiples? And another thing uh, for step two that I like to do is I try to keep multitaskers versus single taskers. So for example, yeah. I once had an egg cracker that you can use to um, separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. Now, obviously that's mm -hmm, not necessary. Mm -hmm. It can only be used for that one task. So I got rid of it. Mm -hmm. For step three, you'll want to toss broken items and donate anything that's still in good condition that you don't want anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Categorize. Let's talk about that. Categorize. Right. So you'll simply just want to group like items together, and this will help you figure out how much space you actually will use up in that drawer. And then you'll right. also be able to get a better idea of what size organizers you'll need for each category of items. Yeah. Gotcha. And then make a plan before you go shopping. Tell me about that. What's the plan? That's right. Yeah, so you're going to want to measure those drawers and try to get down the width, depth, and height just to make sure that the products that you buy will actually fit in the drawers. And then I also like to measure and cut a piece of paper that's the size of the drawer. Um, I use this template when I'm actually at the dollar store because it helps me figure out which organizers to purchase. And I also yeah. like to take a few photos of the items um, that I'm planning to store in the drawer so that when I'm at the dollar store, if I need a reminder, I have that there with me. And also, mm -hmm. so also before you head to the store, you just want to make sure that you have your template, a measuring tape, all measurements and your photos. How do I navigate my way around that dollar store? <laughs> right. So when I get to the dollar store, what I like to do is just first walk around, look at all the aisles because... Every dollar store carries different items and there's different things that you'll, you'll find organizers in different aisles. So for example, yeah. you might find um, in the stationary section, desk drawer organizers that would actually work really well in your kitchen drawers. And the first thing I like to buy are drawer liners. These will help keep your drawers okay. protected and clean. And then mm -hmm. next you should be able to find a traditional cutlery organizer. You can get that for all of your flatware. And then you can mix and match that with other containers to keep other cooking tools and serving utensils organized. Personally, I wanted more of a uniform look, so I actually opted for these uh, clear plastic organizers, yeah, um, and they come in different sizes. Yeah. So yeah. then uh, what mm -hmm. you can do at this point is just lay out the template, and then you can place all of the organizers on there just to see that everything fits, and then you just choose the ones that you want. The last thing that you'll want to do before you head out is just take a look at those photos and just make sure that all of the items will actually fit in the containers that you've chosen. Very good. Good. I love that. Okay. Let's see how you organized your drawers. I know you're going to get an A++. Here we go. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just uh, vacuum and wipe down the drawer to make sure it's nice and clean. And then um, measure and cut the drawer liner and line all of mm -hmm. your drawers. You can use a hair dryer to get rid of any difficult stickers that are on the containers and then place all of the containers in the drawer. And once you're satisfied with their placement, you can then start categorizing all of the cutlery, serving utensils and cooking tools in the containers. If something is too large for one of the organizers, you can just place it directly in the drawer. When you right. open and close the drawers, if you find that the containers are moving around, you can purchase museum gel, wax, or putty from a hardware store or online, and then simply apply a little bit to the bottom of the containers, and they'll then stick to the drawer and stay in place. 
And the last thing that I like to do, which is a bit more time consuming, but super helpful is to label the drawer. Um, this ensures that the drawer will stay organized and tidy and you'll be able to easily put everything back and you'll also know uh, where to get things from easily. There's the before and there's the after. I have to agree with you on, on that, those individual ones, Vishali, because those little individual mm -hmm. ones, you can, you can custom make them the way that you want them. And I love your idea of putting some pretty paper or shelf paper underneath them because it looks nicer. Exactly. When you look through, yeah, for sure. And also you'll want to make sure that every couple of months, uh, you just take everything out and wipe down the containers. And this will help you just maintain the drawer, keep it nice and clean. And as you do this, you should also evaluate the items that are in there. Decluttering regularly is gonna make sure that your drawer stays tidy and organized. We'll talk about kids' toys next time if we can. What do you think? Yeah, for sure, I'd love to. <laughs> Lots okay, of tips Okay, we'll there. do that next time. Yeah, thank you for all the great all right, tips today. You. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, Michelle. We've gotta take a break, thank everybody. You. We'll be right back. Getting organized. I love that. 2022. See you.